All right, pack number three. And, uh, man, Simic would have been so sick if we'd moved into it earlier, but we were a little late to jump on that train. We would have had, like, three of these guild mages already. But we committed a little early, and now we're getting punished for it. Um, but we're still going to try to make it work. Um, so for us, it's basically, like, Night Watch, Angelic Edict, another five-drop creature, which I don't really want in Boros. In case you forgot, here's a look at what we've got so far. Kind of a... Kind of a mess of red and green and white creatures. We're not really sure what colors we are yet, even though I want to be red-white. <clears throat> um, I guess I'm just going to take the removal spell over anything else. It's far too late to move into green-blue, I fear. Wasteland, Vipers, Wasteland Viper rather, is fine, but I think the, the white creatures we have right now outweigh the, the green just slightly. Um, could be wrong. I might just want to splash like the Paladin and... Maybe the Halberd Ears and Assemble the Legion and go red-green. But Angelic Edict is a fine removal spell. And if I end up splashing white, I'll still probably splash this card. <clears throat> Alright. Um, there's an Arrows of Justice, which is fine. A Sky Knight Legionnaire. A Boros Charm. All cards that I want. Uh, there's also a Rampager. Um, I think it might be time to decide right now whether we're going to be in green or white. We have the Edict, Skyjack. Paladin, uh, Halberdiers in white, and Burst of Strength, Ground Assault, Disciple, Slaughterhorn, Pit Fights, really, either or. Um, I think I'm just going to have to commit right now one way or the other. It's going to be between, uh, well, I mean, Arrows of Justice doesn't really commit me yet, but I feel like these are probably stronger cards, the Rampager and the, the Boros Charm and the, I don't know about Slaughterhorn. Also, there's a Legion Air, which would, uh, definitely help me uh, with my Boro strategy that isn't really working out right now. Um, I think I'm going to take the Rampager and try to move into red-green with a splash of white, even though I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, there's a Gruel Guild Gate, depending on if we want to splash green, which might have to happen. There's a Martial Glory, which is fine. Uh, I think I'm just going to take a Zerta Swine and continue with that. Uh, red green aggro uh... here's a burning tree emissary which i guess kinda helps splash green if we have like only red and white lands in play we can play that to generate green and play something else you know it's a fine bear i can play something else off of it like uh... the skin brand goblin or ground assault or something there's also a gruel charm which is okay like i said it's better as like the twenty third card in your deck but yeah, I think we just need to put an emphasis on low drop creatures now. Um, ooh, a Prime Speaker Zagana. This is like, what, fifth pick, fourth pick? Um, but I'm not going to take it here, even though we would have had the nuts uh, Simic deck by now. Um, I think I'm just going to take the, uh, the Skin Brand Goblin, because we know we're going to be a base red. And whether we're green or white after that is questionable. Alright, I'm just going to take an Ivy Lane Denison, because it's fine. Uh, and we get a third one, which is awesome. So we have a little bit of an idea now what we're going to be trying to do, even though it's going to be kind of tough now. Take a slaughter horn. Now I'm wishing I'd taken the green cards a little earlier. And uh, I am going to splash white, most likely, but it's going to be kind of difficult because I didn't see any Boros Guild Gates or anything. I think there's a Gruel Guild Gate going around. Hopefully that comes back to us. Um, not sure which pack it was in. Um, I'll just take a Wasteland Viper here. I don't really like Experiment 1 that much in Limited because it's very hard to get it going consistently. Um, so what are we cutting out of here? We have 30 main deck, which is good, I guess, because we have some stuff to cut, so that's going to go. Um, True Fire Paladin and Halberd Ears are questionable. Daring Sky Jet's probably going to go. Angelic can stay. Gargoyle I don't want to play. don't want to play that. I want to play that. It's 25. Um, yeah, the one bad thing about this program, other than MTGO, is you can't really lay it out by mana cost, I don't believe. No, you can't. So we're just going to have to kind of eyeball it and hope we get a, a curve going fairly well. Um, but I feel like we, we managed to piece something together that's workable at the very least, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, well, uh, 
there's a scorch walker and a spire tracer which are both pretty good um i'm not sure if they're better than the guild gate though because our mana is looking pretty terrible um not actually sure i'm not i'm also not actually sure about our number of playables though so i think i'm just going to take the uh the spire tracer the scorch walker hasn't really impressed me as much as i thought it would oh and we get the the guild gate back anyway which is good um Primal Visitation is not very good, but it's probably better than these two, certainly for us. Ooh, and we, it looks like green is still open, so I'll take the creature for sure. Get another one of those. All right, so now we move into deck construction. Um, I know for sure I'm splashing the Assemble the Legion because it's awesome. Looking like True Fire Paladin and the Halberd Ears are going to go. It leaves us with 28 playables. Uh, Angelic Edict seems fine. Uh, the Visitations are gone. 26 creatures or playables madcap skills is awesome especially when you start off with like a spire tracer which i can now take out of the sideboard and the denizen yeah it's looking like our uh, green red deck isn't looking as bad as i thought um take out the tin street market um what else doesn't belong here yeah everything in here looks pretty good guild gate doesn't count as one of our playables so that's actually we need to cut four cards it looks like um, yeah, I'm actually going to lay this out in Cockatrice and take a look at our number of creatures and whatnot to get a better bearing of this, and I'll come back. All right, so I'm more or less done finalizing my deck. I ended up cutting all the white because uh, just the mana was too bad. We didn't have any Boros Guild Gates, and uh, we already have pretty decent removal without the Angelic Edict. We might end up siding it in, but it's unlikely. Uh, we're down to 41 cards. We need to cut one more. I think it's going to be a creature because we have 17 of them, and uh, I feel like 16 is going to be adequate. So the worst of these is probably, um, I'm not actually sure. Um, we have three of the denizens, which is fine, and a fair number of green creatures. So I think I want to cut a red creature. Um, I don't know if it's correct to cut the skin brain goblin. It's probably not. We want to keep our curve as low as possible. Um, it's possible we just cut the shank tail and uh, sided in against decks that we really want um, first strike against because our other blood rush creatures are going to be pretty good. So, uh, yep, that's our 40. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take this into Cockatrice and try to win this draft.